Hi, my name is Joe Dambach, and I'd like to show you today a demonstration that we've created working with Avago to show a live functioning CDFP interface. We leverage our ZCD connector to develop this CDFP interface. C ZCD was developed to support 16 lanes of 25 gig in order to provide electrical interconnect for fat pipe applications for the next generation of ethernet running at 400 gigabit total. As you can see, we've created a pair of boards with the new chips from Avago, basically supporting eight interfaces per chip so that we can provide a total of 400 gigabit from point to point with 16 25 gigabit lanes. The connector basically is, comes in two versions. We have what is called version two in the CDFP MSA. This is a longer version of the product and it's really used to implement AOCs, optical modules, and the reason the connector has been lengthened is to provide for more effective thermal management by using heat sinks that are larger to manage the thermal output of the AOCs and the various types of optical modules that can be implemented. We also have a version that's shorter. That connector could be used to support straight passive applications, perhaps similar to the one that we're using for the demo here. However, we did use the version two because that was more readily available at the time. Um, the demo basically, you can see we're running an open eye. Avago, as they seem to do often, overclocks and runs faster than we had hoped. Um, 25 gigabit was the target for this demo. Avago was able to achieve 32 gigabit serial per channel so that in essence when we run this serial interface we're, we're transmitting over 500 gigabit of data from point to point with a one meter cable which is really quite impressive when you, when you look at the actual numbers. 500 gigabit is an extremely large number. The MSA that's defining the requirements for this particular interface is working to publish specifications, defining the protocols, the electrical connector, uh, the geometries of the products involved. A number of uh, manufacturers are involved with this MSA and we will soon see public specifications so that others may start to implement CDFP. Uh, we expect to see actually the longer version to be more popular uh, from a connector viewpoint because of its ability to handle both passive cables and active cables with the option for thermal management and cooling as required depending on the type of module that's implemented. We expect fil silicon photonics to be very popular for applications like this because they have very low power outputs and very good electrical performance. So we see this connector as being able to support many applications requiring 400 gigabit interfaces Silicon Photonics will offer very viable AOC applications and optical module applications. Passive cable applications are possible. Two, maybe three meter interfaces can be supported in that fashion. And we expect to see many applications developed for this product in the future to support those 400 gigabit fat pipe type applications for Ethernet at its next speed node. 